What you're about to see is a video shot entirely on the GoPro Hero 11. I wanted to do a little vlog while my friend Dylan was over from London. From London, no, he came to London. He was over from Belfast and he likes doing street photography. So he wanted to go and do some in London. So I thought I'd tag along. I don't really know much about street photography. So I thought I'd go along and uh, see how he does it. I didn't really learn much, but maybe you will. Enjoy. Fucking around with GoPros. I'm gonna try and do a vlog on the GoPro. Can you do it? Look at the amount of people. Can you handle it? There's a lot of people about. There are so many people. He's there, just, just getting the puddle shot. Why didn't you get the puddle shot, Dil? You could have got a puddle shot. I prefer getting the puddle shot or did I get the puddle shot? Look at that. Just, oh, just was doing stuff. No, no, it's not a photo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, what is this camera you're using? <laughs> so that, that building is actually curved. I, I thought it was the GoPro curving it. Turns out not. The last time Dylan was in London we did contemplate the London Eye but uh, it's it too was... expensive, there's too long a queue and guess what? Same scenario today. People are just loving it. It's just happy to be out. Uh, what are we doing? I don't normally take a lot of photos so I thought I'd use Mr. King Snap. He's... King... King Snap. So you can and a photo. Angle. He's going to show me how to do some uh, street wow. photography. Wow. Because I'm not a pro. I've got my camera here. I haven't even got it out yet. We're trying to find... Jesus Christ. This is going to be a really good test for the GoPro. With these guys here doing whatever they're doing. Converging lines here. Because you've got like the point of the inside of the eye. And in the line of trees, you go like that. And the four the lines together. That's what I'm looking for. Thinks I'm giving away secrets. And how long you can't hear any of the secrets. I bet you can't hear any of this. Probably about time I uh, got my camera out. I am rocking the A7C. Note with the original the strap. Just look at me. Like a fucking. It's got a strap on and everything. Hang on. Oh, I don't like these. These aren't very nice for your neck, are they? Peak design. Look at that. Peak Adjustment. design. Is that sponsored? No. What, do, what do I first do? I first need to do it. Does the lens cap need to come lens off? Cap. No, the lens cap's the last thing you take off. You oh, take okay. the lens cap off at this point. Oh, lens cap off. Have I got the battery in? Oh, I can't. I assume I do. Oh, I'd switched on. Yeah, I've got the battery in. Memory card? Memory card in as well. What are you doing there? I'm going to shove this on auto. Professional. Staffing. Staffing to zip, zip this bag up. Jesus Christ. I think bag companies take patience into consideration when they create <laughs> zips, you know? Sometimes you do, you look at the, who fucking made the zip? I've it wondered. Is a wonder. Oh, is, this, is this the one you got from uh, Mr. Dunner? From Dunner. Dunner Duda. <laughs> Sponsored by Dana. So when I'm doing um, street photography, what am I looking for? Biggest tip, I would say. So why are we giving tips now? My main tip, was, especially if you're shooting on a 40mm lens here, because you want to photograph the, the wheel because that's the big fucking massive thing that everyone's looking at. But a 40mm lens is great to look around because here you've got a woman here in a massive, like a green outfit. I would look at like the more obscure things, turn the camera. <laughs> Don't just point your camera up here. I'd look at all the other stuff that isn't the main thing that you see. Look down the side rows, look at the people looking at the stuff. Liz Truss over there. Where? Oh. Slug and lettuce. How topical. Oh, look at that lens flare. Ooh, that is nice. I don't smell the pips on here. Normally when I do that, there's dog shit in there. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. That's proper art, that is. Proper art? I'm up the wrong way. We were trying to get this shot earlier on, but there was a couple of grammars doing it for us. What are you doing? Uh, puddle long exposure. 
Pamela says he's like a homeless man, and th this is for her. One of the main reasons Dylan comes to London, apart from, of course, to see me, is uh, he needs to get his fill of beer, donuts, <laughs> and spicy wings. And generally this means we have to end up in, oh, there's a puddle, hang on, hang on, hold that thought. It's not a great shot, but it's a, it's a shot. One of the things you really have to pay attention to is waiting uh, for street photography. Dylan's very patient. I'm not. I'm actually borderline. What are they? What, what? what are they? Why are they? Like just so bands. easily distracted. Clearly has ADHD. He's now waiting for the traffic to be right. Yeah, check it out. So you've got the long exposure during the day and a, re and a puddle reflection. Just trying to get the right bits, you know, so you're getting like movement through the shot. Actually, that looks really fucking good. It does, I doesn't it? I love it. It's really good. See, that one's quite cool. The bus killing not, the side I mean, it. it's not as good as my iPhone one. But Look at that. Yeah. And you've almost got like the, like as the shadows come through. You lose all the spokes in the wheel. Oh, but I haven't put a donk on it yet. Are you done now? Yeah, I'm done. I've been waiting 10 minutes. Back to the other story. Yeah, Dylan comes here. We, we want spicy wings, beers, donuts. Uh -huh. Two thirds of those things can be found in this place. It's <laughs> brew dog he loves the best. How do we get in? <laughs> Look at him, he's so happy. Thanks, dude. Ching, we boomerang. Ching. Oh, yeah. Oh, you ruined it. It's the smell. I just the smell is just fucking. Did you uh, enjoy your time in, in uh, Brewdog? Fucking hell. There's a lot of wings for one. Very fit, athletic human being to eat. Someone didn't finish all his wings. Ryan, I ate my half of the portion. I didn't want any of the fucking wings. Look at all the CCTV. I mean, honestly. Oh yeah, there's a lot of CCTV. So I was learning from Dylan about uh, street photography. I got bored of it already. I just, photography's not for me. <laughs> I like video, this is cool. Making videos. Video photography. Video photography. We, oh. Oh, all right. All right, pumpkin. Sounds like a novel. Dylan's liking it here. He says it's a very good use of space. It's proved. You are always on my mind. Oh wait, photo. See, the thing Dylan has been taking photos, he sees all these little pockets and squares of things and talks about compression and I don't really know what any of it means. But I shoot a lot of stuff, like a tenth of a second, handheld. You've got stable hands. Not like these old yeah. man hands. Well, you're geriatrics. My coffee hands. Just keep it steady and do a long exposure. Just the tip. Three. This video is titled Three, three Tips. Four tips. Three tips. Just the three tips. Is this technically street photography? If sitting we down are, on a bench. Well, not sitting on a bench, but if we're here. Yeah, it is, yeah. 
We're What's not it? on the streets though. Oh man, I was born on the streets. <laughs> Second meal Dylan's taking me out for today. Uh, what is this place called? Is it Macca's? Mm -hmm. Mash? Mash? Make, makers? Macca's? 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 Mash bar? Macca's? Or maybe it's Macar's. Maybe he's actually like a, an Arabic Scot. No, surely it's Makers. M-A-K-E-R-S. Makers. I don't know. We can ask when we're there. Anyway, the most important thing about it is they do our favorite thing. Duck. Potato. Oh, <laughs> potatoes. Well, well, maybe they do duck as well. So we actually uh, just walked right past it. Turns out it's here. I think I'm going to go for the, uh, the gammon. So funny that we came in and they moved us to the most, what is it they call it? The social media Insta table. Instagram wall. Instagram wall. I guess it's because of this. Drink yeah. 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 Then immediately take it for a sip. Yeah. Oh, I need a straw. What did you get? Lamb shank. Oh, the cold school is good. It's a sticky toffee pudding and a brownie. Oh, it's very... Well, that meal was lovely. <laughs> it was great, wasn't it? It was lovely. I really enjoyed it. I love the gammon. The gammon. Seriously, that first mouthful of gammon. I know, I've got oh, under the table. Yeah. Like, oh. You know what I like most about it? Is actually the portion sizes. Because I kind of assumed, oh, I'm just going to get like a fucking plate full of mash. But you don't. It's like, it was just well sized. Yeah. What I like about it though, it's wholesome food. Do you know? Wholesome. Do you know? It, Not greasy. I would refer to it as hearty. Hearty. There you I go. I like it. Hearty meal. So now we've had a romantic lunch, a romantic dinner. We're going to go and hang out on a romantic bridge in uh, Share a Bed. We're going to yeah. do the bridge first. Like I love this, you come to London and I take you to Battersea. What do you want to see, Buckingham Palace? What is Battersea though? Battersea Power Station used to be a power station. It's amazing, they've still got bits of the old uh, structure, like all the old metal that I guess is used for creating power in the old days. Look, Dylan, they've done this thing again. Look. Well, Led us up a path and on to fucking just, nowhere. It just stops. So you have to climb over. I'm liking this dark look in the GoPro. I don't even need a light. We had a lovely time at the power. I was at Battersea Power Station. Now we're just heading back, taking a lovely romantic walk. along Chelsea Bridge. <laughs> and that's how that video ended. That was the last clip I had on the GoPro. Obviously completely lost enthusiasm to round off the video properly, so I feel I should do that now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and our little jaunt around London uh, trying to vlog with the GoPro. Obviously we did it successfully because it's now online. If you enjoyed this video, please go and check out some of my other ones and also go and check out Dylan's channel because he does a hell of a lot more content online, which is kind of in the same vein as what we did today, the other day, whenever we shot this. I'll see you in another video.